We're here in early May at the cereal site in Duxford, looking at fungicide timings in wheat. We'll shortly be making decisions on T2 timings, so it's worth having a look at your crops now to see how your T1 applications went. We've had a lot of rain here over the last few weeks, so let's see what effect that's had on disease progression. So these variety plots have been quite advanced all season. We've even seen some leaf two emergence towards the end of April, and we're starting to see flag leaves come through as well now. Yellow rust is still an issue. We've seen quite a bit of it in the plots here over the last few weeks. We're seeing yellow rust pop up in a lot more varieties now, but interestingly, not on firefly and zayat. And this indicates that the new yellow rust races popping up in other parts of the country are not evenly distributed throughout the UK. The septoria situation is interesting here now. On clean varieties like Xtase, you can see that there is septoria in the lower leaves, but it hasn't progressed up through the canopy. So you can afford to be a bit more flexible with your flag leaf sprays. This is barrel, a more susceptible variety. And you can see that the septoria is progressing up through the canopy. So your T2 sprays are gonna to have to be a lot more robust. Now let's go take a look at some fungicide plots. Eve has talked about the different disease levels in these two varieties and you might wonder why we've got these two extremes. So we've got Xtase and Barrel and the reason we've chosen these two varieties is curiously they have exactly the same fungicide treated yield on the recommended list. So if you put a full fungicide program across these varieties, you will get the same treated yield. But of course they have very different fungicide requirements. Xtase and Barrel have the same fungicide treated yield, but they actually get to that treated yield in two very different ways. So Barrel would actually have a much higher fungicide requirement than Xtase. And if you look at the margin over input costs, you find that Xtase has an optimum of about 60 pounds a hectare, where Barrel is over 100 pounds a hectare in terms of its fungicide requirement. So you can get the same sort of yield from each of these two varieties, but with a very big difference in their fungicide input. It's not just Xtase that has this low fungicide requirement. We have a range of varieties here that we'll look at later, things like Zayat, Sundance, that also have a very low fungicide requirement, but good fungicide treated yields. So we'll go and look at those in a minute. We're here in the variety plots now, and you can see there are obviously some varieties here that are very, very clean. I'm standing here between Graham and Theodore, both quite clean, but this is Theodore. Growth stage 39, it's got one, two, three, four, five green leaves. So there's absolutely no disease present on this variety. And there are some very good clean varieties in this group. We're back here at the cereal site, middle of May now, and you can see the way the crops are starting to catch up. So these plants are a really full growth stage 39. They've had their flag leaf spray, but you can see how tall they are. Where these plants are the plants that I've brought back from the Cambridge site this morning. And the Cambridge plants are also at growth stage 39 now, but you can see they're much shorter, but there are still high levels of yellow rust in these plants, and there's still high levels of yellow rust and septoria at the cereal site.